What we have here is our Techno 4x8 CNC router. And we're gonna show you the super easy tool touch off. Here we're performing the table milling operation on the CNC router. This is going to give us a nice flat surface to work with. Also open up the scroll board so we're going to get a better hold down. Okay, we're going to show you how quickly we can take the tool and change it out on a Techno HD. Uh, we just did the table mill, so we've got the table mill in there right now, which is a one and quarter inch diameter tool. We're going to change to a three eighths bit, which is what we're going to use on our next file. So you can real easily move the dust rat out of the way, just like you see there. That exposes our tool and our collet and the cover nut. So we just simply take our tools here, and we're going to... Use the wrench to get that started, and our tool comes out pretty easily. Let's spin this off, it exposes the collet. This is a half inch collet. Here's our 3 8 collet. Snap our collet nice and flat, flush with that, and we'll get that spinning up there. Take our tool, get that snug, don't want to over stuff the collet so make sure that there's none of the cutting edge inside the collet. About three quarters of the shank is good to have inside the, the tool, but we also don't want to bottom that out in the spindle. So this is a pretty good setup right here, and now I'm just going to tighten this up. And that's all there is to it. Got a new tool in there, it's tightened up. This here is very smooth edges and virtually no sawdust left behind. The dust collection system on this machine works very well. We're cutting just a few thousandths into our spoil board, so you see just some faint lines in the spoil board after the cut. And again, you'll notice a very smooth edge all around. Okay, we're going to load the file now. We're going to go to Menu, and we're going to scroll down to USB Files. 
and there is rib 6-1 and rib 6-2 and I'm going to load rib 6-2 With rib 6-2 loaded, all I need to do now is turn on my dust collection and vacuum pump. That will hold my material down and collect the dust as we cut. And then I'm ready to hit the start button. For our vacuum hold down, it's real simple. We've got this button on the right that says vacuum pump. When we hit that vacuum pump, this plywood material is now stuck to the spoil board underneath. So that won't move now when we're cutting. We're ready to execute our pump. Okay, now with the vacuum pump on and our dust collection system on, we're ready to go. I've already loaded the file from the USB stick, so the only thing left to do is hit the play button. And that's this button right down here. So I'm gonna hit that button, and we are running. The other thing you'll notice that the multiple passes does for us is it's picking up virtually 100% of the dust, which is really nice. That's going to save me the time of having to clean that up later, vacuum it up, sweep it up, or whatever my method of cleaning would be. And if we zoom in here, you can see uh, very nice, smooth cuts, and again, no debris inside those channels. So we're going to be able to pick these parts up and ready to load the next sheet. So we just finished the first file, we loaded up the second one on our handheld keypad, and now we're ready to start that file. We've turned the vacuum pump back on, and now we're just gonna hit the play button again. And starting up the spindle, and the file will start now. Part took about 33 